Hello friends! I am so excited to teach you how to watercolor a fairy. You are on the Create with Crystal YouTube channel and we are going to paint fairies today. I am an artist, an author, and a mother and on my channel I'll be posting videos every Thursday and you will learn how to become an artist from my channel. Always stay tuned because at the very end I put a great how to be a great artist tip at the end. So make sure to stay to the very end. And I would love it if you would help me get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. Um, please subscribe for new content, like and comment below. And in the show notes, there's the description of how to create this painting. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to gather the supplies and um, there's four different watercolors that, um, that I love that are great travel set size watercolors. And when I do this, I'm just using um, like some Crayola or Rose Art watercolors, which are just, I use Rose Art, which were only a dollar and then the Yarka semi-wet watercolors, and they're less than $10, they're amazing. There's other more expensive ones, um, but the cheaper ones work great too. Um, it's really important that you have watercolor paper that's 140 pound cold press. If you don't have good heavy weighted watercolor paper, you won't have these amazing effects. And um, so, you need a reference photo of a fairy, which I would recommend printing off the computer just from Google Photos, images, and just make it the size of the watercolor paper. I did about a four by five um, sheet. And um, then what you'll wanna do the, is pre-wet your watercolor palette with a spray bottle or a brush. I'm using, um, I just use a brush, dipped it in the water and got the palette wet so that your paints are really juicy and lovely. And then the next step is to trace the fairy on your paper with a white crayon or a white oil pastel, or you could even use Miskit, which is uh, a fantastic product, but it takes more time and um, you have to let it dry. It's like rubber cement and you put it down and then you paint your picture and then you rub it off and it has saved your white paper. But this white crayon or white oil pastel works really well. It's really fun and fast. And if you don't have a light table, you can use a window with just the sunlight to trace the fairy onto the watercolor paper. And with watercolor, you always want to save the white of the paper. It's like stained glass. It's like if you cover all the white paper, it just doesn't glow and look amazing. So the crayon is saving the white for us in this example. And also trace the veins of the wings to create a beautiful gossamer effect. Because I painted some fairies with um, just solid wings and then some with lace patterns and the lace looks way more beautiful way more interesting the other way that we are going to save the white of our paper is we are not going to get all the paper wet and it looks really awesome um, because wherever you have water the watercolor will travel but wherever there isn't water you are saving the white of the paper and it having some white and having the fairy white makes it look really awesome. My teachers always taught us, you know, if something looks out of place, add more. So some of the fairies that I showed you in the beginning of this video, they look just a little bit too white in their dark surroundings. But if you, you know, have some little white stars and or little white, you know, things out in the edges or, you know, leave some white negative space in your painting. It's way more interesting and it makes it look like it just has more harmony. 
So that's a great design principle to remember. So then the next step is wet the watercolor paper with a paintbrush wherever you want the paint to spread. Um, I got it all wet on this, but eventually I only did like a upside down triangle, kind of where the paint flowed, just that's where the painting went. So um, and now you want to drop the paint onto the wet areas of your painting for a wet on wet effect. I love wet on wet effect. Do you see this paint exploding? Isn't it beautiful and amazing? It's just, it's mesmerizing to watch. I just love it. So uh, I created a gradient of purple fading to red, orangish pink. And with this fun little fairy watercolor painting, you really need to have dark, darker paint. Darker paint is better than light paint because the fairy will stand out. Notice how I'm putting the dark purple around the fairy because I really want the fairy to stand out. So I'm putting the darker colors around her so that she will really be a focal point. And then, um, one of the next things is with a paper towel, blot away the paint in areas where it should be white. So where I have the fairy, it um, you can't see her face very well. And so when you do your white crayon part, make sure you draw really, really dark. Uh, not dark, really hard with your white crayon uh, so that you know you don't have to blot very much but I'm gonna blot right here and just blot so that you can see the fairy's face and the wings a little better and then um, the next is you sprinkle some table salt onto your painting for an interesting effect that looks like sparkles and then you need to walk away from this painting do not touch the painting until the painting is dry and let the salt do its amazing effects and it's so tempting to want to play with the painting still, but just walk away, let it dry, and you will be amazed at what happens. And then once it's all the way dry, rub off any remaining salt granules with your clean fingers, and then write your signature and date the back of the painting. The time-saving tip that I'm gonna tell you is, as an artist, you have, your body is a tool to create beauty. And when I get in the zone, I kind of forget about my body. I almost forget about eating. I forget about, you know, things like my neck. One of my recommendations is to do some stretching. You can, or do some yoga. You can lay down and do the pencil stretch. You could go on a walk. Anyway, you need to loosen up. You need to loosen up your body. Make sure that you're eating. Take care of your body listen to your body and so that you can paint for years and years so i hope that you will like subscribe to create with crystal youtube have fun